Welcome to the new scroll hole. Today we're going to be getting into the case of the college cannibal killer, Austin Haruf. So this is a warning as the contents of this video are going to be graphic. So if that type of thing triggers you, click off the video now. Otherwise, let's get into it. His arm wrapped around the male, and he had his fingers like a fish hook in his mouth, pulling his face off, trying to pull his cheek apart. Was he saying anything? He was, he was growling. He was growling. Michelle Stevens, 53, lay mangled and dead in the garage, and Haruf, then a muscular exercise science major at Florida State University, was attacking and biting her 59-year-old husband on the driveway. Haruf is alleged to have wounded neighbor Jeffrey Fisher, who tried to save the couple. One deputy ordered Haruf off at gunpoint, whilst another used an electric stun gun on him, but he would not let go. Deputies say they didn't shoot Haruf because they feared hitting John Stevens. Finally, a deputy with a dog arrived, and its bites enabled deputies to subdue Haruf, who had no previous arrest record. He told deputies, help me, I ate something bad. Then admitted it was humans as he spat out a piece of flesh. Court's documents show. A Florida college student accused of randomly killing a couple in their garage and chewing on the dead man's face says he was fleeing a demon-like figure and has only a vague recollection of the slayings. Let's get into Austin Haruf. As, as I was dragged, as I finally was pulling him off of him, he was screaming, kill me, I'm eating people, kill me. Very loud. Austin Kelly Haruf was a good student at Suncoast High School in Riviera Beach, in Florida, a powerful athlete on the wrestling and football teams. He was about to enter his sophomore year at Florida State University, where he was studying exercise science. The now 23-year-old accused of randomly killing a Florida couple and chewing the face off the dying husband was legally insane at the time of the attack court documents filed this week show. On August 15, 2016, Austin Haruf stabbed Joseph John Stevens III and his wife Michelle Miscon Stevens to death before eating Joseph's face. The attack was unprovoked and random as he did not know the couple. Police speculate that he may have been using the drugs bath salts or flaca. Austin was making animal noises and grunting and growling as officers yanked him away. The attack took place at the garage of the couple in their home in Tequesta, Florida. The couple enjoyed sitting in their garage on Monday nights with the door open. The attack happened only a few blocks away from Austin's home in Jupiter. Inside the garage, they found his wife, also stabbed to death. Multiple weapons of opportunity were used to beat, slash, and attack the couple including a switchblade the suspect was known to carry. Law enforcement officials said it looked like the husband tried to fight back. Before the attack, Austin was eating dinner with his father and stepmother at a Duffy's restaurant in Jupiter when he became agitated and upset about the service, got up and walked out. He had been staying in Jupiter with some of his Alpha Data Phi fraternity brothers. Austin's mother told police that he claimed to have superpowers and that he was here to protect people, according to the police report. Austin had posted an unsettling and bizarre video about the best chest exercises where he uses odd voices and cries at the end on his YouTube channel charged for stabbing a neighbor who tried to help John Stephen Myers III 
and Michelle Mishka Stevens. I just want to let you know that I came to a realization of something. I no longer want to follow Arnold or any other bodybuilder. I want to follow myself, you know? I want to actually believe in myself. You know? I know what's right for me. I don't need drugs. Drugs? I know that they can... Change me. I used to think that I needed steroids to be to be a bodybuilder, to be to be this thing, to be this symbol, to be this lie. You know? We're all the same, though. Peace out. Peace. The f***ing pose. Alright. Now this is a pose many can't do. It's um, it's hard if if you're not like skilled. Sorry if you can't see my face. It's right here now, but um, I'll show you. All right. I just want to note the similarities between the Watts family murder or the Watts Matrix murder case, as I call it, with the working out. I don't know, just note the numbers and let's get back into it. That's today's video, um, stay gold. If you haven't checked out our videos on Chris Watts and annihilating his family, I'll leave the link in the comments below. In 2020, prosecution psychiatrist Dr. Gregory C. Landrums said the 23-year-old was legally insane at the time of the attack. Haruf believed God and demons were talking to him prior to the murders. Landrum concluded the then-teenager was unable to distinguish right from wrong. This aids Haruf's case, which will argue he is not guilty by reason of insanity. His criminal trial is set to begin in May. Michelle Stevens' family has also sued him for wrongful death. His court date was postponed, and I do want to note that both the defendant and the prosecution both agree that he is criminally insane, yet the discovery has tons and tons and tons of text messages where he is making deals for like mushrooms and the type of drugs that are not detected or even looked for in toxicology reports. They are plant-based drugs that come out of the system within three to six hours. So I want to note that and I also want to note the hand symbolism, the numbers, just all of it. Take note. In an interview with TV psychologist Dr. Phil, released by prosecutors, Austin Haruf said he lost his wits as he walked back to his father's home after storming out of a restaurant where they had an argument. McGraw asked about the devil talking to you, and Haruf went on to describe a dark figure he called Daniel. I had gotten scared out of my mind, Haruf told McGraw, who interviewed him by computer in 2016 when the former high school athlete was still hospitalized. Haruf, 20, 
was arrested for the August 15th deaths of John Stevens, 59, and his wife, Michelle Miscon, 53. Roof, a bodybuilder who majored in exercise science at Florida State University, said he stripped off most of his clothes as he tried to run away from Daniel. Dr. Phil asked what he was thinking. I don't even remember what I said to myself. I just remember being afraid, scared, said Haroof, as his father, dentist Wade Haroof, stood off camera. He claimed he did not remember how he came face to face with Mishkan in the couple's garage. He also claimed he grabbed a machete he found in the garage, but did not remember why he killed her and her husband. He denied using steroids or hallucinogenic drugs, and none showed up in blood toxicology tests. When sheriff deputies arrived, they found Haruf on top of Stevens, chewing his face off. It took several deputies a stun gun, and a police dog to pull him off the victim. Haruf's family has said he was acting strangely for weeks prior to the attacks. A powerful athlete on the wrestling and football teams, Austin was about to enter his sophomore year at Florida State University, where he was studying to be an exercise scientist. Austin used to be a quiet kid, said a fellow student at Suncoast and FSU who knew Haruf at both schools. Austin's fellow schoolmate said in an email that, and I quote, he's actually nice, which is why this is so shocking to everyone. Not the type of person you would expect this from. Overall, his life seemed healthy and on the right track. But there were also signs of trouble for the 19-year-old student. A YouTube channel containing multiple videos of Haruf contains the statement, I've got a psycho side and a normal side. I've lost my mind. Help me find it. Haruf says this in a video when he's speaking on bodybuilding, which also contains music videos under the name Osti Frosty. A friend confirmed that the videos were of Haruf. On the Monday evening of August 15, 2015, Haruf stormed out of Duffy's restaurant where he was having dinner with his parents in Jupiter, his father and his stepmother, then trekked five kilometers in the August heat to viciously murder a middle-aged couple, John Stevens and Michelle Miscon Stevens, he encountered in their garage, hanging out in their Tequesta home. Three police deputies had to wrestle down Haruf while he was grunting and making animal-like noises as he gnawed at Stephen's face. Prosecuting psychiatrist Dr. Gregory C. Landrum says Florida college student Austin Haruf was legally insane when he fatally attacked Michelle and John Stevens outside their home in August of 2016. Findings show that Austin, who was then 19, believed God and demons were talking to him, and he had increasing paranoia and other hallucinations in the lead-up to the killings. On the evening of the killings, his mother found him at her home drinking cooking oil mixed with Parmesan cheese. The victim's family alleges the concoction was spiked with hallucinogenic mushroom. Landrum also noted that Haruf is being treated for schizophrenia while jailed. The psychiatrist's conclusion was that Haruf was unable to distinguish right from wrong when he killed the couple, the legal standard in Florida for being found not guilty by reason of insanity. He faces a life sentence if convicted. If Haruf is found not guilty by reason of insanity, that does not mean he would go free. He committed to a state mental hospital and his attorneys have previously conceded it is unlikely that he would ever be released. The first thing that popped out of me was ethanol when I started researching this case. And when I read the toxicology report, he had ethanol in his bloodstream. And then I thought, is he a huffer? Was Austin Haruf huffing? 
Question mark? Hmm. Awful lot like the Watts murder matrix. Leave your thoughts below, guys. It's, uh, it's sick, it piss, pulling a little Genova, you know what I'm saying, yo? But, yeah. His mouth, the dog grabbed his arm, pulled it off. The suspect ripped it out of the dog's mouth and went in for a deeper hole. Canine pulled back, said again, releasing the dog. He released the dog a second time. Same thing, grabbed his arm, pulled it back. Ripped it out of the dog's mouth again. Ran up on this 50 something year old couple while they're chilling in their garage. Was seeing black shadow figures prior to it. Stripped up, he was naked, stripped naked, went in, killed them, and was eating them. He stabbed the neighbor trying to help. And it took two cops and a dog, a police dog, to get him off. They tased him, it didn't work, nothing worked, and he had to be double cuffed and he was eating human flesh. Huffing chemicals or plant based drugs do not stay in the system. Gray, as I finally was pulling him over him, he was screaming, Kill me! I'm eating people! Kill me! If you like this video, be sure to comment below, like, share it on Facebook, and subscribe. Oh, and hit the notification bell so you're notified when we upload new content. Thank you. Kill me! I'm eating people! Kill me!